Breaking at noon, the countdown clock has resumed and the NASA launch director has given the go to begin the tanking process for the Artemis dress rehearsal. The final part of the test was paused yesterday after an issue with a fan. Let's get right out to News 6's James Barvero live at the Kennedy Space Center with more. James. And now, Justin, NASA says the issue with the fans is fixed, and we can look over at the famous countdown clock here at the Kennedy Space Center press site, and we can look back at launch pad 39B with the Space Launch System moon rocket, and we can see that systems are indeed a go for the fueling of the most powerful rocket ever built. NASA's feed continues with a live look at the launch pad, and right now the teams are fueling the first stage of the rocket, the SLS core stage booster, and the upper stage as well with that liquid propellant. Now, with the issue of the fans over the weekend, NASA said there would be a fear of an exposure to hazardous gases because the fans weren't working if they were to go ahead with the fueling then. There was also severe weather and a lot of lightning strikes here at Kennedy Space Center on Saturday, but NASA reiterated it was the technical issue with the fans that made them scrub the wet dress rehearsal on Sunday. Back here on Monday, the countdown clock is ticking at T-minus 5 hours and 27 minutes, and the teams are going to work that practice countdown all the way to T-minus 10 seconds, just seconds simulating before the launch, the first launch ever, eventually, of the most powerful rocket in the world. If everything goes well today, NASA will eventually roll the rocket back into the vehicle assembly building. They will assess the test, and then they will finally set that hard launch date. Teams earlier have said, maybe May. You talk to the space reporters out here now, consensus feels like maybe June now. We have yet to see what the date will be, but we're going to keep you updated as this will be an all-day process as there's still more than five hours left in this practice countdown. Our next report coming up on News 6 at 4. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6.